Welcome back to Figure Depot. Today we're taking a look at the Storm Collectibles Street Fighter II Final Challengers Guile figure. This is a Storm Collectibles piece. It comes in a window box style package. This was just gifted to me by my buddy Bilal. Thank you so much, bro. This thing is sick. I can't wait to get it open. We see a image of the character there on the side. We have some uh, product shots here on the back and different poses featuring some of the accessories and things some of the different effects that are available with the figure a lot of really cool stuff and i'm thinking that some of this is going to be interchangeable even across other figure lines so that'll make for some cool photos but uh, we'll check that out here in a second and uh yeah cool stuff here's the barcode if you're trying to track it down i don't know what year this released so i apologize for that uh he just kind of surprised me with it so <laughs> Didn't know I was going to be doing this, but here we go. Street Fighter logo at the top. All right, let's get him open and see what's inside. All right, and here's Guile out of the package looking sick. Very cool figure. Good sized figure. It's uh, definitely bigger than the NECA Street Fighter 4 figures that released several years ago. I have a bunch of those and I've really enjoyed them. And uh, if you've been on my Instagram Recently, you've seen some uh, figure shots with those. Uh, very cool. Uh, but this thing is just another level up. The, the NECA figures can be brittle and can break, and they worry me. I, I'm very, very careful with them, and I don't stress the joints too much. And some of the joints have gotten real loose on them, actually, in the legs and stuff. But uh, these Storm Collectibles are made of a much softer plastic. And so, I really don't worry about them. I have a Hulk Hogan, and we'll have a look at him in a minute, from Storm Collectibles, ringside exclusive, uh, classic Hulk Hogan. And the uh, same materials are used on it, and it's a much softer plastic, which uh, lends itself to, being, uh, to having more longevity. So if we take a look, like at these hands here, for instance, you know, a lot of figures use hard plastics, but you can see these kind of squish and bend. And so you don't have to worry about pegs snapping off and stuff like that inside there because it's just a nice, soft, squishy material. And so it just slides in and out effortlessly. And because it's so soft, it actually kind of holds on to the pegs really well. So, you know, it's a... I really love it when a company uses softer plastics because, you know, if a figure breaks, especially one that costs as much as this probably did, again, this was a gift from a friend of mine, but I can only imagine with the volume of accessories and everything, how much this dude actually cost being an import figure and everything. So anyway, toy companies, if you're listening, because I know you are, softer plastics can be better. So while we're here uh he comes with three sets uh four sets of hands he has these kind of grabbing open hands uh for like grappling and stuff and they look really great a lot of nice detail on there and see the wrinkles and the fingers and everything not a lot of paint shading or wash on this there's a, a subtle wash i think but uh the sculpt is really nice so then we get the uh, one for holding his comb. Of course, you know, he's got to fix his hair after he kicks butt. So, got that comb ready. And it'll go in either one of those hands. And then we get these karate chopping hands. And you can also... Do some thunder clapping, but uh, they look really cool. Really like that look a lot. We also get these accessories. We have like when he does his energy punch, you can put those on his arm, and you can see it'll have that effect of him punching. And uh, they look really great. It's just a nice translucent plastic. Not, any, un, un, not unlike anything we've seen with Marvel Legends and some of their accessories like Iron Man's Repulsor Blast and stuff like that. Uh, and they just clip on over his hands. And then 
we have this like kicking effect when he does his upside down kick if you recall he'll do like a sweeping kick and you'll have that uh, that motion there and get him on the stand and have him doing a sweeping kick like that and then also the little ring effect as well that he can throw and then those have a stand and you've got pegs on the stand so you can position it any way you want to you can have it in the center or on the sides or whatever so really nice there in terms of accessories we'll get a look real quick just at the figure close up uh, he's really really nice and um, the paint on this guy is really good sorry my lighting screwing up on me all right technical difficulties but we're back so we have a uh, really nice shade of green lots of nice detail got the laces on the boots looking really good looks like real leather it kind of has a leathery feel to it just because of that again that softer plastic it's just real nice to the touch sculpted wrinkles in the shirt all look really good Face sculpt is really nice. The sculpt of the hair, very cool. We got that wicked flat top. The coolest flat top to ever come out of the United States military. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. He's got a necklace, of course, with his dog tags. And uh, they're plastic, but the necklace is actually metal. So those look really cool. Flag deco there on his uh, arm, the tattoo. Looks really nice and clean. Some slight uh, airbrushing, I think, on the body. Very subtle, but uh, captures the light really well and looks really good. Let's get a look at the articulation. I'm sorry, before we do that, let's get a look at these alternate heads. So you have kind of this uh, yelling open mouth face here. And then we have kind of a grimacing, growling face. And then we get the Ryu just kicked the crap out of me face. So cool his teeth look all busted up inside there <laughs> yeah looks real nice got a bruise on there and his eyes are all blacked out and everything I don't think he won that fight but yeah the sculpt on this hair is just insane starts off real light at the bottom and gets a little bit darker as it goes to the top so very cool all right, so for the articulation, the head is on a ball peg. We'll go up very high. We'll go down nice and low. No problems there. Um, it's on a dumbbell peg, so it pegs down into the torso and then up into the head. You can, of course, rotate 360. Uh, the arms are on uh, ball sockets inside to the torso frame as well. Um, it's got a frame system in there and then these are just soft plastic pieces overlaid so uh, you have a coupling here to hide the joint but we'll go out to there down to there rotate 360 and of course that coupling piece just floats around with it wherever you put it so you'll have to line it up whenever you move it around it's going to move with it unless you hold it in place uh, we do get a swivel at the bicep of course we do get Really nice uh, double jointed elbows there. We got a uh, ball hinges, hinged ball sockets here, so you can rotate those around any way you want. We do get this nice uh, forward crunch to there, but you will notice a gap here if you go too far and you can see that ball socket 
down inside there. So just be mindful of that. You'll want to adjust it around and make sure that you cover that gap. Uh, so he will go back to there. But again, on the front side, you're gonna see that uh, system there. Um, but what'll also let you, you know, lean him real far over to the side and to the other side. We do get, of course, 360 rotation. This is just a soft plastic piece, again, on that basically just conceals the frame of articulation that's underneath there. Um, and then uh, we get legs that'll kick out nice and far, go back just a hair. Uh, double jointed knees, get you about 90 degrees because uh, he is so thick. We do get a swivel at the boot. Toes will point about like that, not just extreme, but not horrible. They won't go up a whole lot just because of the sculpt, the laces hit, and it just doesn't really go much farther, but you do get a toe articulation, so you can lean him forward just fine uh, if you want, you know, like a nice forward stepping stance or whatever. Uh, you do, this is real tight again, because I just got out of the package, so I'm gonna have to put some heat on it, but this will rotate kind of like a th where you'd have a classic thigh swivel. It actually rotates up here, just like the NECA uh, Batman and Superman figures that came with the Aliens, NECA versus Dark Horse sets. It's a very similar, similar uh, leg articulation as that. Uh, they'll split out to about there just because the sculpt of the pocket hits the little piece here and it won't go any farther. Um, yeah, and then uh, we do have rocker and pivot. So it doesn't pivot just a whole lot, but it does pivot some. And uh, yeah, toe articulation. So, and then the bottom of the feet do not have peg holes, but they got a real nice tread pattern on there. So that looks pretty cool. It's not gonna focus for us because the stripes in the background are just capturing the camera's attention and it won't let go. But yeah, really, really good looking figure, really nice articulation system. Now let's get into some size comparisons. So here is our Guile figure from Storm Collectibles next to his NECA uh, counterpart. This is the variant one. I have the green one and the black uh, urban camo variant, which I really like this color scheme a lot. I think it looks really cool. And uh, you can see similar range in articulation. These do have butterfly joints and uh, look really good. We got a nice, some nice paint applications on these guys um, as well. But again, like I said, the joints are pretty tight and I just am so scared that I'm gonna break it. And you have a lot of gaps in the articulation. It's kind of got the crotch pits like Mattel figures have with the T joints there. Uh, but this is nice and you know, you don't see it very much. So the aesthetic of this figure in terms of what's exposed with the articulation is probably better. Uh, and then I definitely like the feel of these better. Uh, these have interchangeable hands, of course, and everything. But again, they're that hard plastic, so you gotta be really careful with them. He, of course, has the, you know, real dog tags and necklace, and I guess he's gonna take a nap real quick. His are just painted on, which, I don't know. When you're posing around, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be stuck in that position. So not believable in that sense. So I guess the way these hang is probably uh, more realistic, but also you don't have to fight this thing when you're posing this one around. So I guess it's whatever you prefer to deal with in that situation as to which you might prefer. And here is Guile next to E Honda from the NECA line as well. And uh, you can see these are pretty close in size to one another. E Honda is a larger figure. So if you see him next to the NECA Guile, he's much taller, but in, in this scale, they're about the same height. So I don't know if they made all the characters in this line. I've, this, uh, I've seen the Rayu in pictures and the Ken, but I don't know I uh, haven't, and the guy, of course, but I, ha I haven't seen any of the others, so I'm assuming they make them, but I don't know for sure. But yeah, they still look good together. 
So here's my Hulk Hogan from Storm Collectibles, it's ringside exclusive. They released the uh, classic kind of yellow trunks and they did the white version, which was I think his first appearance. And then they did the uh, blue baby blue trunks, which was the American made release. So you got three different versions that they put out a limited run. I think it was only 3,000 pieces of each one. And uh, I'm not sure if there's any left on their website. You can go to uh, ringsidecollectibles.com, I think, uh, and check that out. So well, there may be some left. I don't know. But uh, loving this Hulk Hogan. I played with those uh, LJN rubbery uh, wrestling figures when I was a kid and so this thing brings back a lot of memories but you can see Guile stands <laughs> much taller is a lot bigger than uh, Hulkster is here he is on the Captain America uh, first Avenger motorcycle and it looks pretty cool but he is obviously a little big for it <laughs> but the uh, military theme looks cool together it still look good in the background if you're doing a street fighter shot because you know they always had scenes with random stuff going on in the background so definitely look cool in the background of his shots here he is with the punisher motorcycle and that might look a little bit more believable with those uh high handlebars so here's a nice look with that effect doing the flipping kick with the energy blast coming off of there that looks pretty cool you can use this one stand to pose the figure on and then the other stand to mount the uh, energy piece and there's a look at him with the uh, punching energy blast effects those look pretty cool and they slide on and off very easy and they're actually in two pieces so you can pop them apart and snap them together or just slide them in either way they're very nice and flexible just like the uh, hands and everything were all right well that's gonna wrap it up for me i hope you enjoyed this review it was just kind of spur of the moment again like i said but uh so glad to have this figure is awesome it's got a ton of accessories just a really cool piece and definitely some improvements over the previous iterations for sure uh, drop me a line let me know if you've got this guy or any of the others in the series and what your favorite one is and uh, I'll see you guys next time be sure to check out my uh, two Instagrams my figure depot Instagram where I post uh, promotional stuff for my reviews as well as toy hauls and toy news and custom work and that kind of thing and then uh, be sure to check out my other Instagram which is where figures dwell all one word and that's where I do my action figure photography now so it's all gonna be over there all right well thanks so much for watching have a great day and I'll see you next time thanks <laughs>